Welcome back to another video. Today, I have an experiment that I wanted to try. If you guys aren't aware, there's a thing called the screen crab. It's a hack five gadget. And uh, basically what it is, is something that you plug into like behind a TV or monitor. And it basically emits a signal where you can look at the video feed and take screenshots of like, say, a computer or a TV or a projector, like anything like that. So... I really, I've always wanted one, so, but it's so expensive. It's like 300 a change, and uh, I, I just can never, like, get myself to buy one, um, especially with, it's just, it's just expensive. So I thought to myself, self, maybe I can make one for way cheaper. So what I bought here is a wireless HDMI uh, adapter here, and basically this is like, it's like an HDMI cord, but it's just wireless. And this is about, I think, $70 to $80, this guy right here. Way under what the, the screen crab is. And I bought a splitter. I'm going to do a mirror experiment. We'll see what happens. I bought a female-to-female -female end um, HDMI, a splitter. I have my Elgato capture card here. Um, I'm going to experiment and see what I can get to work and what not to work. I have no idea how this, ex this experiment is going to go. I figured, hey, maybe I can create a way cheaper screen crab. I mean, it's not going to work as great as the one from Spec 5, but in a pinch, and if you want to you want to have some kind of tool like this where you can plug in the back of a computer and uh, look at the feed and take screenshots, I mean, it's a, good, it's a good pen testing tool. My idea is what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into a Windows computer, and then when, when I'm doing the implant, I'm also going to duplicate the screen on the Windows machine. So I'll show you that in a moment. All right, so I have it plugged into the back of the computer in the HDMI port, and uh, this has this is plugged into the Display port. So I have the power because it needs a, a little power supply. Um, so I have USB C to USB A here plugged into the back of the computer. So nothing like too out of the ordinary. I mean, it doesn't look that malicious at all. So now let's see what it looks like on the computer. See, it's identifying two monitors right now. So if I do ex instead of extend, let's do duplicate the displays keep changes and then close out so right now i mean the user wouldn't know that their screen's being duplicated unless they actually looked into it it works so here's me on this computer uh playing one of my videos and it's, the audio actually comes over to this too so this is all being done wirelessly so battery bank is plugging plugged into this monitor to power it it's also plugged into this device to give this power and right now, I have the audio and the, and the video feed coming from this computer. It worked. All right, so this is the cheaper setup. Um, let me, I'm going to take this upstairs and see how much range I actually get. All right, so I'm upstairs in my living room. So again, this is the wireless HDMI uh, connector here plugged into this external monitor. I have it running off of this battery bank, and it's still working. So I'm upstairs in a completely different room with some thick floors, not underground, and it is working with audio, by the way. So now I'm going to go actually outside. Okay, so I am currently outside, and it's still working. Again, it's hard to see, but the green light is the battery bank. The blue light is the HDMI wireless port, and this is the monitor. I am outside. <laughs> this works. This is crazy. So I can't capture anything right now, but I might have a solution for that too. All right, so this is cool. So we got this to work pretty well. So the thing I need to do next is I want to be able to capture and uh, take screenshots and, uh, and stuff like that. So to do that, I'm going to use a capture card, and I'm going to show you how I want to put this together. All right, this is, how this is how I'm doing it. So the HDMI in, so it's being sent from this computer to this receiver here. And uh, it'll to go into this capture card. And then I'm gonna plug this into my Mac upstairs to, to also test the range. And I should be able to capture and record images from this computer. So, I mean, this, uh, this capture card is probably like a hundred bucks and this was like 70. But still, a really cool, cost-effective idea. And if you were just doing it like I did earlier, where, I mean, this receiver, this cheaper receivers, by the way, but this one, it was like mid-range. I mean, for 70 bucks, I think this one is. I'll put the link in the description. 
I mean, it's pretty, it's like, it's not that noticeable. Like, if, if you put this behind, like, a desktop environment, that's it. This would be the setup for a capture option. So let me go ahead and test this out. All right, so we are upstairs, plugged into the Mac, and I have OBS running, and it's working. So now I can capture and record using OBS, which is free. You can download OBS on pretty much any computer. And, uh, yep, let's pretty much, again, plug and play, capture the video from the Elgato, and now I can record and capture the computer screen from uh, downstairs in the studio. So you could probably plug this into a laptop, do the same thing, but a cheap alternative option. Now it's time to try with the splitter experiment, but it didn't work out too well. This idea didn't work. So I tried this with the PlayStation upstairs. That's why I came down here to do this one. And uh, it's not getting a signal. So I'm wondering if it has something to do with the splitter. So I, I'm not even getting the, the other device to do anything. So, so I'm showing no power, nothing. So I don't know what's the issue, but it's not getting a signal with this setup. So that's all right. Can't win them all. Maybe there's some kind of special splitter I need to get, but all I know is that the main purpose of this video was to experiment, and it was success. It's a nice form factor, too. I mean, it's not that big at all. I mean, it's, it's two of these. Let me grab the other one. That's the whole setup right here. So you plug this into the target device. Um, it may or may not need the extra power. And uh, you get a little tiny monitor like I have here. This is the receiver. I got a battery bank. And like I showed you earlier, I could literally go outside and uh, I got a pretty decent distance. What, and then you could plug it into the Elgato capture card or I, you could probably get a capture card for way less too. So the Elgato capture card is pretty expensive, but there's other cheap ones out there. You don't really need anything fancy. You just need like a 1080p or even a 721 just to record and take snapshots. And uh, you can pretty much build a Hack 5 screen crab for our best i mean the thing you really need i mean is the hack 5 product's really nice don't get me wrong but if you look at this a, a cheaper option and uh, to me i like this is pretty cool to me this is a pretty cool setup with the monitor being able to check out the computer doing the implant um really cool pen testing and uh social even social engineering practice test uh, again do everything um everything ethically this is all for cybersecurity experiments only i do not condone any illegal activity um, again, don't condone any legal activity, but pretty cool. I mean, this was an idea I had. Um, I was like, huh, and it worked. One thing I did notice with this setup, uh, it works better with a bigger external monitor. Um, I ended up maybe a TV, even a TV would probably do well. Um, these little tiny monitors here, I think, it, again, these are like the ones that you use for like the Raspberry Pi 5. It was like buggy. I think it has something to do with the size but for some reason, like this one was pretty much like plug and play. And this, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to a screen crab, there was no configuration needed. I mean, all I had to do was go on the computer, duplicate the display, plug it in. Uh, it was already paired and plug this in somewhere else. And that was it. It was that simple. I would feel a lot less um, upset if I left this somewhere and lost it over if I lost, uh, lost a screen crab that cost it over... 300 and change so that's it so thank you guys very much for watching this video um if you like this kind of experimental stuff please leave a like and subscribe subscribers that said hey that's kind of a pricey thing for a uh capture card i'm like huh i wonder if i can make it cheaper so the people that said that motivated me to do this experiment so thank you very much this video wouldn't have been possible without your input so i appreciate all my subscribers and my members if you want to become a member support the channel it's really really appreciated I'm also on Rumble, but thank you guys for watching. Remember, safety is an illusion, and I'll see you guys in the next video.